Hello dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you and welcome back in our science session. So in this science session we are discussing our lesson that is light, shadow and reflection. So up till now we have discussed about the light, also we have discussed about the shadow, conditions of the shadow, characteristics of the shadow. So now we will move for the reflection, okay. But before going to see the reflection, what is it by the reflection, one more and very interesting point we are going to discuss that is nothing but what pin hole camera okay so what is been by the pin hole camera so it is the one type of an instrument which works on the light travel on a straight manner okay so this is the one type of an instrument and that phenomena on which phenomena it works it works on the phenomena and the name of that phenomena or if that phenomena it is what that light travels on a straight manner or the light always travels in a straight line okay so let's make a pinhole camera so we will see one video how to make exactly a pinhole camera so see the video pinhole camera is a light proof box with a small hole on one side light from an object passes through this hole and projects an inverted image of the object on the opposite side of the box let us learn how to make a pinhole camera take a cardboard or a tin box cut open a side of the box and paste a tracing paper over it pierce a very small hole in the center of the side opposite to the one on which the tracing paper has been pasted close the box from all the sides the pinhole camera is ready to use make the pinhole face a lighted object an image of the object is formed on the tracing paper the size of the image depends on the following factors the greater the distance between the screen and the hole the larger the image the larger the image the fainter it is the larger the distance between the object and the hole the smaller the image so in that pinhole camera we are getting the inverted image okay we are getting the inverted image so the image from by a pinhole camera it is what inverted image why because as we know that the light can pass through in a straight manner or the light always travels in a straight manner also we are getting the small image in the pinhole camera but on the other hand if we make the big hole in the pen pinhole camera then what will happen more than one rays of the light can pass through that pinhole camera and it can gives the number of the images and that all the images will get overlap with each other and because of that we are getting the blur image in that pinhole camera okay so this is about what pinhole camera but let's see what are the uses of the pinhole camera so this pinhole camera basically used to observe the distinct object now distinct object means what the objects which are very far away from us to observe that objects we can use the pinhole camera also this pinhole camera we can use to observe the people those who are walking in a sunlight also the pinhole camera is used to observe the solar eclipses okay so these are the uses of pinhole camera now we'll see the next one that is pinhole camera in nature so the pinhole camera is also present in the nature how is it on the certain ground we can see the circular structure of the sun okay we can see the circular structure of the sun how this image of the sun is formed because the leaves of a leaf, leaves of a plant is act as a hole and from that hole only the one rays can pass through and they can form the image on the ground okay so here you can see how the exactly pinhole camera gives the image of the sun okay so this so uh, pinhole camera is also present in the nature my dear students now we will move for the next one and the very interesting point from the lesson that is we are going to discuss about the mirror and reflection of light now as we know if you are playing the table tennis or if you are playing the other games and if we are talking about the ball if we throw the ball on the wall then what will happen that ball will comes again to us it will bounce back to us okay so like that same property is followed by the light rays the light rays falls on an object and from that object it comes back to our eyes or it reaches to our eyes and that phenomena or that property of the light is called as what reflection of light okay so see here the phenomenon of sending back the light rays that fall on the surface of an object 
is called reflection of light. Okay, so what is it? The reflection of the light, the phenomenon of sending back the light rays that falls on the surface of an object is called what? Reflection of light. Okay, so now you can, you all are able to see this board. Why you are able to see this board? Because the light rays falls on it. And then it reaches to our eyes and with the help of that you are able to see this board. Okay. So in this way we can say that the light rays can bounce back. It occur. It get strike on certain object and from that it come back and reaches to our eyes. That phenomenon is called as what? Reflection of light. Okay. But this reflection of the light is also depends upon the which type of the surface of a object having. So if the object is having the rough surface then there is a less reflection takes place. Why? Because of that rough and the in uneven or irregular surface of an object all the light rays are getting diverged. Okay? Get spread in all the direction. But in the other case if the object is having the plain surface then all the reflected rays can go in a same direction okay so to understand this phenomena to understand this activity this uh, phenomena we are having one activity so let's see go through this activity polished or shiny surface can act as a mirror do you know what happens when light falls on a shiny and polished surface such as a mirror let us find it out together let one person hold a mirror in his hand and stand at one corner of the room. Let the second person stand at the another corner of the room. Let the third person hold a torch and cover the glass of the torch with fingers and switch it on. Let him get a beam of light by leaving a small gap between the fingers so that light can pass through that. Let him direct the beam of the torch light onto the mirror that the first person is holding. What do we see? We see a patch of light on the other side. You know, now the person can adjust the direction of the torch so that the patch of light falls on the second person standing in the room. Wow! interesting to watch isn't it so what do we conclude now the mirror changes the direction of the light that falls on it not just the mirror any other polished and shining surface like a shining stainless steel plate can change the direction of the light this change of the direction by the mirror or the light coming back after hitting a smooth plane surface is called the reflection of light. Also we are having one more activity that the light always travels in a straight manner and then it gives the reflection. That also activity we will see. So whenever you are watching in the mirror that mirror gives you the same image or the, as you are standing in front of the mirror in, in the front of the mirror you can see that same picture okay why because that plain mirror is always works on this phenomenon of light that is what reflection of light okay reflection of light okay so this plain mirror gives us an image so what is mean by the image 
so the image is formed when the light rays fall on an plane mirror and from that plane mirror it reaches to our image it reaches to our eyes and then we can see that image okay or we then we can see that object or we then we can see that image so that image can give all the detailed information about an object why is it so because on that object okay on that object or the light rays falls the light rays reaches to our eyes directly and that is the reason we can see the image or we can see all the details about that image in the play mirror okay so this phenomenon of the reflection of a light through the plane mirror gives us the one more interesting phenomena which is called as what lateral inversion okay so what is meant by the lateral inversion we are going to discuss about this going to discuss through this activity so let's see this activity lateral inversion of image is defined as the reversal experienced by an image formed in a plane or flat mirror when we raise our left hand the image in the mirror raises its right hand our left is the image's right and similarly our right is the image's left so an image follows left right reversal so we say that an image formed by a plane mirror is laterally inverted so my dear students now we have discussed about the uses of pinhole camera pinhole camera in nature mirror and reflection of light and also we have discussed about the lateral inversion okay so see reflection of the light gives us image but the blocking of the light rays gives us what shadow okay so see image is different and the shadow is different so let's discuss the difference between the image and the shadow first when we talk about the color so the image is giving the same color like an object so if you wear the blue color clothes and if you stand in front of the mirror then you can see your image in a blue color cloth only okay the image is of the same color as a object but shadow does not give any information about the color shadow does not give the any information about the color shadow is the only dark patch next one that is detail so the image can give all the details about an object while shadow does not give any type of the detail about an object next one we will discuss about the lateral inversion so see image is showing the lateral inversion why the lateral inversion is absent in a shadow shadow does not show the lateral inversion next one we will discuss that is formation so how the image form when the reflection of the light takes place through the plane mirror or from the smooth surface then it forms the image okay then it forms the image okay so we can say that the image is formed due to the reflection of the light but how the shadow form shadow is formed when the light rays are get blocked with the help of an opaque object and with the back of that opaque object we are getting the shadow okay so the reflection of the light forms the image while the blocking of the light rays forms the shadow so the size of an image is exactly same as the object okay the size of an image is exactly same as the object while the shadows okay shadow the size of the shadow may get varies and it depends upon the distance between the opaque object and the screen and also it depends upon the distance between the opaque object and the source of light that we have seen in previous video okay so all these are the difference between the image and the shadow okay so my dear students here we have completed all this lesson here we will stop we'll meet in the next video with the next point and for today thank you